Season 7's Young Sheldon arc takes place at East Texas Deck, and it introduces the ideal candidates to replace Leonard and Howard from the Big Bang Theory from the prequel. In Season 7 of Young Sheldon, we meet Leonard and Howard as they were in the original Big Bang Theory. In order to strengthen his application for graduate study at Caltech, Sheldon spent the entire summer in Germany. Now he is back in Texas to complete his degree. In the fifth episode of Young Sheldon's seventh season, A Frankenstein's Monster and a Crazy Church Guy, he begins a new adventure at East Texas Deck with new friends, following his reacquaintance with his family, which allowed him to retcon George's cheating scandal story from the Big Bang Theory. A number of years have passed since Sheldon enrolled at East Texas Tech University. As a middle ground with Mary, who was uneasy about sending him to another state on his own, he decided to attend a local college instead of an Ivy League institution like Yale or Princeton. Ever since, most of Sheldon's stories have taken place at East Texas Tech where he has had the unusual opportunity to work closely with professors like D.R.S. Sturgis and Linkletter, rather than the usual freshman year of college. Season 7 of Young Sheldon seems to fix that. Sheldon has spent most of his time at East Texas Deck, where he may still be recovering from the unpleasant moment he walked in on his dad. Surprisingly, the kid genius keeps hanging out with his new flatmate, Evan. When they welcome Joaquin into their circle of friends, it grows even larger. Curiously, Sheldon doesn't find any of them inattractive, and he even gets involved in their potentially lucrative computer project. The relationship feels familiar. Even though Evan and Joaquin are new characters, it's because it was done before on The Big Bang Theory. Like Leonard and Howard, Evan and Joaquin are young. While Sheldon's older buddies and his new friends at East Texas Eck certainly share certain characteristics, they are not carbon copies of Simon Helberg and Johnny Galecki's characters from The Big Bang Theory. To begin with, the young genius has no trouble interacting with Evan because of his gentle demeanor and friendly demeanor towards the boy. Concurrently, Joaquin has a soft spot for females, much like the engineer and astronaut member of the Pasadena gang. It's interesting to mention that the sleazy Howard met and fell for Bernadette, which led to his demise. In the young Sheldon series finale, Jim Parsons will play the role of adult Sheldon, while Mayim Bialik will play the role of Amy. However, it would be disappointing to watch just the two of them. One could argue that Leonard from The Big Bang Theory is more crucial to the story of the socially awkward genius than his wife. It is difficult to predict whether Johnny Galetsky will make an appearance because he is still on his acting hiatus. It shouldn't be too hard to enlist the help of the remaining Pasadena gang members what with the possibility of an unexpected reunion of the Big Bang Theory cast members and all.